Hey, welcome to the Lighthouse of Awesome. I am Michael. Today is book nine of the Confessions by Augustine. So book nine totally belongs in the first half, in my opinion, or the first two thirds or however, however it breaks out. I had listened to a great courses plus and some, some, I don't know what else I had listened to, but there was something else that said that the division should happen after book eight. Um, but book nine really seems to be about Augustine's life and what's going on. And it has that pivotal baptism. Maybe it starts to get so religious that um, if you're teaching in a secular environment, you cut it off at that point. But my thought process is it's still his life and the culmination of everything that we've talked about. So he quits his career in rhetoric after he and gets baptized and goes over his mother's life his mother passes away. So it's a real good wrap up of the story. I think in a novel like setting, which this is not, and it's sort of like a idealized journal of the past. Book eight is kind of the climax and book nine is the summary where we just wrap everything up. And I think Augustine had that in mind when he said, all right, the first nine books are about my life. So real awesome things that he does in this book. Um, he reads Psalms, which uh, I heard as a child that my favorite books of the Bible would be Psalms and Proverbs when I got older. And I was... I understood Proverbs, like I understood where like Proverbs is like, oh, you should do this, this is good advice, something you can follow. Psalms, I was kind of like, ah, we always read a psalm in church and I'm not too into it. Seems like maybe they were great when they were in Hebrew and musical, but now that they're in English and translated, I'm not really getting a lot from them. And what I got from both Augustine reading palms and being changed from them and a lot of other reading that I've been doing um, that has mentioned Psalms is that it's a really incredible book and it really shows you how to be grateful and how to praise and how to connect with your inner source of gratitude. And that is something that was never articulated to me as a kid, or I didn't get it if it was. And I think it's a really advanced concept, um, doing all this study with Bob Proctor and Tony Robbins, all uh, the knowledge of business blueprint with Dean Graziosi, all this information that I've been taking in and making my own has always centered around a strong, robust being of gratitude. And Psalms seems like an amazing way to learn that and go through that thinking process that says, I am grateful. I know, and I know I'm grateful. So the big parts of this, um, in addition to that, another book that Ambrose rep recommends to Augustine is Isaiah. And so second Isaiah, so Isaiah is kind of like two parts. It's all labeled Isaiah, but somewhere in the middle, it seems that it switches and it becomes a more, way more positive, um, book in the second half. So I've been doing some reading on it and it seems like 
maybe Isaiah wrote the first half and his wife wrote the second half or she had a heavy hand in all of it and really changed that second half. Not sure, but uh, it's kind of a cool idea that, you know, Isaiah, prophet, did all these amazing things. It was really his wife that just wrote everything down and had <laughs> constructed it all. That's a really cool idea. Um, so when Augustine gets baptized, he goes with Iapius and Adacius, his son, and all three of them get baptized together. And Augustine says, oh, my 15-year-old son is so smart and well-learned and all these things. So it's, it's, so it's really cute how everything kind of wraps up and comes together. Um, and it's interesting how Augustine's future memory um, remembers the past and puts it together. And so, and he's not writing this long after this has happened. It's just been a couple years which is really interesting um but it's a really emotional end to his kind of life story up to this point he gets he gets baptized converts to his religion that will eventually lead to his sainthood his mother dies his son um gets um baptized with him his friend gets baptized with with him um it's it's a great great book